All right, let's have a conversation. And it's about Josh Norris not finishing top three in Calder voting. Now, when the season ended, I think we all knew that Kirill Kaprizov was going to win Rookie of the Year. I don't think there was any denying that. If you look at his point totals compared to Norris's, I mean, yeah, maybe Kaprizov had a little more help around him, but still, at the end of the day, he was the better player. Now, did I think Josh Norris was going to finish outside of the top three? Well, yes and no. I mean, it's hard to argue against what Jason Robertson and Alex Nedeljkovic did. Maybe if you want to make an argument, you could say that Norris should have finished ahead of Nedeljkovic. Uh, but because Nedeljkovic, you know, he's a goalie, maybe he did it at a harder position, some might say. But then a sense fan argument would be, well, he is older than Norris by four years. He plays on a better team too. Norris, uh, well, he didn't have to do it all by himself. He had a lot of good rookies around him. He was one of the guys that was, you know, thrown into the proverbial fire, so to speak, having to face not a lot of good teams this year, but a lot of really good players in the North Division, like Austin Matthews, John Tavares. I'm naming centermen because Norris is a centerman. Um, obviously, McDavid, Dreisaitl, even Pedersen when he was healthy. So for Norris, maybe I was a little bit surprised they didn't even crack the top three. Josh Norris had a pretty good rookie year, and I think he got better as the season went along. But what cost him is I think that he got off to a bit of a, you know, a mediocre start. I wouldn't say it was a bad start, but a mediocre start. And that's okay, you know, he's a young guy learning the ropes at a, at a fairly tough position too. Obviously, I want to point out that Jason Robertson is a winger. Uh, Kaprizov is a winger too. Both those guys had to do it at easier positions. And I'm not saying, you know, that Norris should have beat out those guys. It maybe kind of would have been nice to see him beat out Nadelkovic. I thought maybe he could have. But you know what? Hats off to all those guys. And at the end of the day, you know, is it really worth getting all worked up over that one of our players didn't win an award? Not really, but I'll, at the end of the day, I would just like to see Josh Norris continue to be a great player for the Ottawa Senators and help them grow as a team and see him grow as a player and in turn hopefully see many great winning seasons to come for the Ottawa Senators and that's ultimately what's most important rather than him winning some individual awards. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.